So, my friends, let us take a walk. Let us take a walk through this enchanted forest. Let us marvel at the great mystery. Let us feel the invitation into contemplation. Let us marvel at the incandescent miracle of a moment like this, surrounded by grace, surrounded by trees. Let us feel what this place, what this space does to our inner life. Let us watch as our mind screen is taken possession of by this feeling, by this moment, by this radiance, by this awe. The Greeks refer to moments like this as katalepsis, encountering a truth from which nothing can dislodge you. We are talking about moments of poetic rhapsody, poetic reverie, when, as Roland Barth says, the curtain parts and what had never been seen is devoured by the eyes. It's distinct, abrupt, framed. It is all ready a memory. This is a parting of the seas moment. This is a flooding, <laughs> a bursting forth of your own unconscious. These are mythopoetic moments where we functionally get to act out our inner life. Music, it makes room for this process. Music, it makes room for our pain. For in these mythopoetic inner spaces, we get to grieve, we get to metabolize, we get to unfold. Subject, object, and process becomes one thing. Our field of awareness is arrested by what is described only as an aesthetic moment, a moment of aesthetic ecstasy. The great journey makes itself manifest. It bubbles into awareness. It is now that we attend to the great quest before us. Like the Lord of the Rings, like the great fellowship, like the council that sends you forth, you realize that now, my friends, my life has taken on great importance. And there is melancholy and nostalgia for times past and times gone, for a more innocent time, before we were called to the great adventure. And it is okay to spend a few moments in our childhood reverie, but we must answer the call. We must attend to the great beckoning that lies before us, for life is a great mystery, for life is a great and mythic quest, one that we must willingly undergo. We must answer the call. We must become the hero on the great journey.